Okay, this is a collection of very short um, eight millimeter, I guess 16 millimeter movies that I took during the rescue of British and Australian prisoners of war, which we, which were in a ship bound for Japan, which we torpedoed unknowingly. They're not edited and they're all out of order. Um, I'll try to explain. This is just an underway shot. We were racing back to Guam. Now this is taken below after we had them in the bunks. There they are. Four of these men died on the way to Guam and we buried them at sea. These pictures were taken two or three days after we had them aboard. Look at him. Look at those ribs. Some of them are in better shape. They had been prisoners in Singapore at Changi Prison. And when they loaded on board the ship, some of their colleagues told them they'd never make it to uh, Tokyo. They said you can walk on periscopes from here to Tokyo. Now, you see, this is all out of order. Here we're coming into the harbor in Guam, where we um, uh, sent them ashore. Now, he's quite agile. He can climb in on his own. Some had to be carried off in litters. And they went to the hospital in Guam. Here we're standing up the channel in the harbor. That fellow shaking hands there the, with the bear, big belly, he's a good friend of mine. There's Hank Lowerman in the white t-shirt. He was our executive officer. They served him ice cream. Boy, were they delighted. And there they are taking him off in lighters to the hospital. We had 54 of them aboard and four died. One of the most vivid memories I've got is burying one of those men at sea. Now here we are back at the rescue. See, that's what they'd been floating on for a couple of days. That's two of our guys. They've thrown them a line. Some of our guys swam out and um, took a line to them so we could pull them aboard. See, I think the guy in white there is one of ours. As they were all covered with bunker oil. More miserable human beings you never saw. That's Dan Brooks right there, the back. Remember, he's in the picture downstairs with his back to the camera. Now, this is a destroyer that came out from Guam about a day and a half out of Guam, brought us a doctor. And we're both lying to here. And you see the signal light up in the bridge. See the signal light? Here comes the doctor. He was a nothing doctor. He just walked through, patted them all on the shoulder, and said, good show, and sat down in the wardroom for a day and a half. I was never so disappointed in a man. And there you are back at the pickup, you see. They, very few of them could help themselves. And, and see, that's a very calm sea. We took fuel oil and cleaned um, the bunker off of them as best we could. Now, there comes the doctor aboard. That's, the, uh, that's Jim Bryant there. He's dead now. And look, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but this is a calm sea, and look at that destroyer roll. That's our deck gun. I don't know why I took a shot of that. That's the windlass deck forward. 
Well, he's a starboard lookout. And that's a guy named Summers. That's the way you stood lookout for an hour. Then you'd be an hour off and then an hour on and a four-hour watch. There they are getting some more of them below. See, we threw their clothes away. Their clothes were just filthy. God, you couldn't believe how. What filthy, miserable human being. Look at him. They're just young men, 20s, early 20s. Hey, there's a fellow still got his digger hat. We, we inadvertently threw one poor guy's dentures away. They can't help themselves. That guy's name is Joyce that's climbing around. He was a lobster fisherman from Maine. This is, a, I think this is the guy who explained to his shipmates that what they were drinking was cocoa. The other guy said, well, even the bloody king can't have cocoa. Now here's the color stuff. Well, I had some color film and I had some black and white film. See, this was taken earlier in the day when the sun was higher. This, this rescue took place right in the late afternoon and early dusk. I must have been up, up on the bridge there. That looked like the uh, antenna. They couldn't see half of them. Some of them thought a cruiser had picked them up. I remember hearing one fellow explain to the other, no, it's a submarine. Oh my God, he said. He was scared to death. That fellow's standing on the bow planes. Our, our guys, see. That's one of the best shots there. I don't, well, they've thrown him a life ring, I think. He's trying to grab onto it. I sure wish I'd had these pictures in Australia so I could have showed them to those guys. See, I met with some of these fellows one day in Australia, 30 years later. Bob Brack arranged that meeting. That's one of our guys swimming out there. I saw some, uh, some of the men who were dead and were half eaten by fish. He's still in their life jackets and still floating, what was left of them. They were scattered over quite a wide area of ocean. And the hardest part was...